Yo, what's up, man? What's poppin'? It's your boy PR Links, and this is I Watch YouTube, a series when I show you guys some of the people I subscribe to, some of their content, so you can check them out. And in the same time, I give them some opinions about what I feel about, you know, the subject or of the content of the video, whatnot, and give them like a better constructed criticism from a viewer point of view, you know what I'm saying? Um, now that I'm, you know what I'm saying? So today we're going to be watching Beat Matt and uh, see what he have to say, man. The title of the video is the IWQ Future Pre-Order Sales. Let's check him out, man. My boy Beat Matt. I watch YouTube. intro man that intro tight what's going on y'all big map 509 the camp life squad mm -hmm. and in this gameplay here i'm on combine i'm rocking the dingo and i'm running with my homie gt23 for life a link to his channel will be down in the description below check him out stop by see what he's got and hit him up if you need some music for your channel i already make some sick beats man but anyway in this video here what i want to talk about is did IW fuck it up for pre-orders for the next game? Mm. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I, I don't know about everybody else, but I usually pre-order my game when they're coming out in May. Now, this mm. is before the trailer's released. This is before we anything we get to see on how it is. You know, I'm a Call of Duty fanboy. They're coming out with a new game. Boom, I'm going to put a pre-order down because I'm going to cop that game. But... Did IW put a bad taste in your mouth is what I want to know. Because it did for me. Now, I'm not going to pre-order in May. I'm going to wait for the reveal to see what the game is about. But from what I heard and from what I've been reading around, Sledgehammer is going to come out with a Vietnam era type game. Which is not, it's boots on the ground and that's what I've been bitching about. That's what I want. Cool. The title of the the title of the new Call of Duty game should be Lethal Combat, from what they're saying now. Wow, how do you know that, man? Lethal Combat. How do you know that? It's, I just I just find that out just now. Wow, that's crazy, man. Let's. let's Sledgehammer hasn't locked down the title yet, but that's one of the ones that they're going with. And um, like I said, it's going to be set in the Vietnam era. And unlike some people that I've that I watch on YouTube and all that that commented that heard the same rumor that I'm hearing about the Vietnam era game, the boots on the ground, that they don't want it. They want boots on the ground, but they don't want it a Vietnam era boots on the ground. Which doesn't make sense to me. I mean what do you mean you don't want a boots on the ground Vietnam era one wise? I think that I think that a lot uh from my point of view um, it's not that I don't want uh, a Vietnam era game would not be that bad it depends on the map design you know what I'm saying it have to be deal with, a lot with map design just with any game um, if you, if we if we get uh, a Vietnam era and the maps are designed like advanced warfare even though it's boots on the ground it could be problematic you know what I'm saying? It could be problematic, but we'll see. As long as they get the mechanics down, as long as they make the fl the movement more fluid, I mean, shit, you could have the boost slide. I like the boost slide. I don't like the jumping and the wall running, <clears throat> but have, you know, unlimited sprint, some great score streaks, mm -hmm. and have it boots on the ground, and I'll be playing that all day, man. Let's go, is the but key, to say man. that you don't want you want boots on the ground but you don't want boots on the ground you're contradicting yourself and I just I don't think you know exactly what you really want now for those people that like flying around like Peter Pan go play Halo you know well stick with IW if that's your thing I know IW's got the tactical TDM now they said they're going to leave it in the game which is great mm -hmm. but I still don't play it you know I mean you could leave it in the game. Your game is still broken. 
fix it, maybe I'll play. Right now I'm having a good time playing Black Ops 3, playing Modern Warfare Remastered also, even though the sniper's are OP. But um, yeah, I want boots on the ground. That's my preference. That's what yeah. I would like. If another, if it's not Activision, but somebody else comes out with a boots on the ground game, other than Call of Duty, I would buy it. Now I didn't get Battlefield yet. It's the whole thing with the tanks and stuff. I'm, it's just I'm a first person shooter. Give me a gun in my hand, and I'll camp the bitch out. I'll run around, do whatever. But yeah, planes, tanks. It's not me. I'm not saying that I won't do it. I might get it. But I might start branching out into other games also. I mean, I do play other games. I play Assassin's Creed, Medal of Honor. You know, I do play those kind of Metal Gear Solid, you know, stuff like that. I haven't played Metal, Metal, <coughs> Metal Gear Solid in a while. But I might start playing those and put them up. I was watching my homie yesterday put up uh, Dishonored 2. It's not bad. You know, Super Ace was running Dishonored 2. Uh, the game looks pretty good. I might even get that. You know, but uh, he's running the walkthrough right now. So I let him do that. That's his shit. Don't want to step on the man's toes, you know. But uh, I might do that. I might start looking into other games and start doing. Um, start getting. Even if it's not multiplayer, start doing walkthroughs or stuff, you know. Just change yeah. up the channel a little until um, Activision gets their shit together. But I'm over here. See, I'm controlling my Cerberus now. It's going to make it rain on these people. They can't fuck with us. It's just the way it is, you know. There goes GT doing his thing. It's Camp Life Squad. We hold these maps down strong and we kick ass. But back to the topic, you know. Did IW put a sour taste in your mouth for pre-order? I know for me, it did. So I'm, I'm just curious on what your opinion is if it hmm. if it did or if it didn't didn't matter to you you'll still pre-order call of duty then that's fine you know to each his own yeah. but i think i'm gonna wait for the reveal this year to see what it comes up with i don't usually pre-order the game until i see a review on it you know what i'm saying but it's kind of yeah i've been honest with you um i'm just gonna be honest with you i buy call of duty regardless I mean, it has to be something that is really, really, like, really bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's unplayable. You know, like, like remember Black Ops 3 for, like, Xbox 360 for the old consoles? How horrible that game was? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, something like that at that level or just terrible. Then I, I, I won't pre-order. But, you know... As long as you can play the game and, and learn the game fairly fast and it's not as complicated. Yeah, I mean, to me, Advanced Warfare is one of the most difficult games to play because of the SBMM is so high. You know, it's so it's so high that it's just it's just so sweaty. And and I and I play it for a whole year, you know what I'm saying? So and as far as IW Tactical TDM is 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 good, but it could have been better. For some reason, uh, Tactical TDM is just the connections is, is 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 not there. The connections are bad. They they lowered the uh, health to seventy five percent, which I don't understand why. I, it made no sense, you know. And you know if if they increase. The uh, health to to um, you know to to a hundred percent like the regular game, then then it won't be too bad. You know it will be all it will be all right. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see. Let's continue. Anyway, I'm gonna sit back, do some other things. I'm gonna let this gameplay go. I'm gonna drop some music on it so you can watch. You know, enjoy and check out the final score of this game. See how we do in Camp Life Squad, all right? So this is Big Matt 519, Camp Life. We out this bitch. Peace.
if I want to put the music in. So um, I'm going to fast forward. I don't want to get strikes on my channel. To the final score. A very interesting topic, you know, um, you know, it pops a question, you know, will you pre-order, you know, Call of Duty in the future? Because he feels like IW, um, in his opinion, IW re re ruined that for him because he don't, don't, don't like the game. Um, so you know it's an interesting question you know, a lot of, a lot of people had left the call of duty franchise way back when modern warfare 3 came out uh had a lot of friends that would play modern warfare 3 um and then uh right when modern warfare 3 was out they they just say you know what I, i'm f this i'm tired of call of duty and they just left they left the franchise um, back then, and uh, then really hasn't been back. Like you go to to the channels, and they totally change the content on that on their channel. You know, what I'm saying they just don't do Call of Duty anymore. Um, so it's it's, it's uh, some people uh, did that. You know, on Modern Warfare 3, others, you know, play it out. And then uh, they left the franchise when I've, when Ghost came out. And some people left the franchise where I uh, AW came out. So, you know, the interesting thing is the IW outsell every first person shooter, shooter out there. You know, it did outsell everybody. So, uh, so it's, it's, but uh, even though they outsell everybody, that also mean the game is great. The game, the game is not as popular on YouTube as it was before. And a lot of that have to do with people just tired of looking at Call of Duty. Um, just being honest with you, you know, it's oversaturated. And people are just tired of looking at Call of Duty. Um, so, but like I said before, I will pre-order the game. I always wait to I see like more um, details about the future game, come the future Call of Duty coming out. You know, I wait to the trailers and stuff like that. But I always pre-order Call of Duty. It's I like playing it. I enjoy it. Um, although it's frustrating from time to time, I like the inter reaction. I like to, to match my wit with all the players online. You know, a lot of these games, uh, first person shooter games, they don't have a multiplayer aspect to them or, or they do, they, they just not Call of Duty. They don't have that. They don't have anything close to that. Like, you know, Battlefield 1, for example, you know, if, if you play, the maps are too big, and if, if you play that uh, TDM, which the maps are smaller, uh, you don't got no kind of uh, uh, air support or anything. It's just gun and gun. So, you know, you don't have a happy medium, per se, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's why Battlefield series is not appealing to me. But I think that Big Matt is has a, a 
pretty good. Uh, Beat Mag got a, a pretty good channel, man. His his intro is peace. His outro is nice. I like that when he uh, when he finishes whatever he needs to say, he finishes the video with some background music and whatnot, and that's 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 pretty nice. You know, it's a um, that you get a mixture of commentary and music here and there you know so um one thing that i that i noticed and maybe it's not as noticeable when you listening to the the when you watch the video listening through like regular speakers i got my headphones on so there's more detail on sound it's, it, it's i can hear like a fan or something running in the background you know um and uh, you you can fix that by uh, downloading Audacity, and you could pick the sound and isolate isolate the sound, that pretty much take it out of your video, so you won't hear it no more. Um, also, another program that I that is that is also free and Audacity, and uh, there's another program that is really. Um, I think it's awesome. Um, it's, it's, it's called Voice Meter. And uh, you could download Voice Meter, and what Voice Meter does, it acts as an amplifier to your mic. So you can polish the sound of your mic, and that will help, you know, the, 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 the voice and it's what, what sound a lot more, more polished, a lot, a lot better. Um, but his commentary is really great. It's, it's you know, it's, it's very, uh, it's, it's, it's good. It's a good commentary. You know, just adding a few free programs will make it even better. You know, that's, that's my suggestion, man. I mean, you guys, you know, I, 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 I'm trying to help everybody. I'll just give you my opinion as a viewer why other viewers might think when they watch your channel that's pretty much it man you can take it you can leave it you could do whatever you want with it i just you know like i say i'm giving you a viewer's perspective but other than that man, great video thank you for your posting and um can't wait to see you next video man this is pr links i watch youtube my boy beat matt i'm gonna leave the link in the description for his channel and if you do stop by and watch one of his videos let him know that PR link send you there man peace and I'll see you guys later